just as a, a, a place to begin, why do you think the ancients went to such trouble to build these monuments? Uh, <clears throat> well, as I was saying in my talk, but um, one of the things that it's very hard to, for us to understand, I mean, apart from the time that separates us from uh, these ancient cultures, is to get into the mindset of an ancient culture. I mean, we have to imagine a world without cities, without roads, without, without anything. And the, I mean, at the end of the day, there were human beings like us. I mean, there's, there's a famous saying that I picked up from, a, from an arch astronomer. You know, there were Einsteins, there were Newtons, there were, there were intelligent people then. We know that they had the same capacity as us, they had the same brain capacity. The, the difference is that they didn't have the science we have. The, we are quickly externalizing. I mean, the minute you're ready for school, uh, you're told that there is physics and geometry and mathematics and, and geography, and you quickly, quickly know that the Earth is a globe and so forth. So the difference there is, is this desire to understand without the information. And therefore, they, 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 employed, they, they, they employed a different method. They imploded rather than exploded. They looked for the answers by trying to figure out what they could sense by observation. And this, this desire led them to uh, try and somehow uh, <clears throat> explain their existence. Now, one of the things that, that they, we don't do, but they did quite a lot, is observe the sky. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, we have evidence throughout uh, the whole ancient cultures. I mean, from, from Egyptians to Mayans to Chinese. The sky was something that they were constantly observing, particularly primitive people that were under the sky. Uh, I was talking about the desert when uh, I gave the conference. You know, just being a couple of days in the desert already pushes you to look at the, 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 the celestial landscape. You, you, you just can't help it. It's there and, and, and you're under it, you're observing it. it uh, <clears throat> and, and I'm talking of just a few days. I mean, uh, a lifetime there would really get you into this mood of looking at the cosmos, trying to understand it. And what they saw, uh, which is very obvious, certainly with the Egyptian culture, they saw a, a beautiful, orderly, machine there, it's a, a sort of moving in, 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 in majestic timing, with, which we now know is in the split second accuracy. We can, we, and this order that was there kind of matched the, the, the order on the ground, uh, the, the cycles of the seasons, the, uh, the life and death cycles, the, the changes in climatic conditions. And they began to sense that there is a relationship, which there is. Uh, uh, what we know today is that the reason all this is happening is because we live on a globe, and this globe is has th several motions. I mean, the, the 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 ones that most of us know is the rotation of the Earth on its axis, and we get the effects of night and day. Uh, the sun revolves around this, the, the 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 Earth revolves around the sun, and we get the the the, the effects of the seasons, and of course the less known precessional motion, the, the, the slight wobble that takes about 26,000 years. Because this machine does this, we, we're here. You know, uh, these motions produce, has, have produced this, 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 this planet the way it is. Now we know this. The ancients did not. And this, 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 uh, um, wrong in a sense conclusion, but right in the sense of observation, is that for them it was the sky that moved, not us. And somehow this order was so inspiring that they wanted to link themselves to it, they wanted to join it, they wanted to, they almost sensed that they belonged to it, which in a sense cosmologically it's not wrong, we, we are from that cosmos. And this desire to, to do this began with, a, with, with attempts to point out where these, these, uh, these celestial objects would rise and set, and slowly began to mature into a complex way of thinking. It's the beginning of, I mean, uh, the megalithic phase, if you like, is the beginning of this, ended up in pyramids, and, and now we're ending up with people putting people on the moon and planning visits to Mars and so forth. So it's this desire to know.